Hi everyone, it's Tanya Gibbs and today I am going to show you how to add text to your Digi downloads that are in the Adobe Acrobat Reader. Uh, I would say probably 90% of the downloads that I get do come to me in the form of an Acrobat PDF file. So if you know you can manipulate these in Acrobat without having to open them in another program then it's really nice to do. So I'm going to start a series of tutorials to show you guys how you can use your Digi downloads to the maximum. So to start with uh, I'm going to do this in two programs. I'm going to do it in the Adobe Acrobat Reader and then I'm going to follow through at the end doing it in Acrobat Pro so that for those of you who have both pieces of software you'll be able to follow along. So we're going to start with the Acrobat Reader because it's the most common one that everyone has. I'm using using version um, X1 I think it is so if you have a different version you may want to go to adobe.com and download the latest reader it is available for free and I will put a link to the download down in the description of this tutorial uh, for our tutorial I am going to use Marion Smith designs uh, digi downloads this is from the cottage chic printable super cute mini album and I'll also put a link to this mini album down below inside of the description of this video. Uh, Marion has given us permission to use these and I have added her watermark over the top just uh, for video purposes. So to get started or again we're just going to add some text to these little journal cards today and uh, the cool thing about this is is that if you decide that you want to you know do these printables it, it does give you a little bit of flexibility to go ahead and pre-type your text before you hit the print button. So in the reader you're going to go over to the sign tab that is on the toolbar and choose the add text uh, you know icon here uh, on the drop down and then you're going to go over to where you want to add your text and you're going to click in this position and this little dialog box will pop up and this is where you're going to change the properties of your text field but I like to go ahead and type my text first so that I don't have to make changes to it multiple times so my text this time is going to be this is a uh, tutorial by Tanya Gibbs. So notice that my text is not quite lining up on the lines that are provided. So I have some options for modifying this text. Uh, what I like to do is to highlight the text before um, I make any changes just to make sure I am actually changing what I want to change. The most obvious thing to change at this point would be the line spacing which is the space that is between each line of text. This particular icon will reduce the amount of line spacing to and this one will increase the line spacing. So let's reduce it and see if that helps. Now once it turns gray, what it is is I can't go any smaller because the font allows for a certain uh, you know, default line spacing and you can't go any smaller than that. But what I could do if I'm not lining it up properly is I could come over to the font size and maybe reduce the font size a little bit. And here is going to take me a step down by four uh, font sizes at a time and then over here I can also select this icon to make the type a little bit smaller one increment at a time. So like I said if I just click on this it, you'll notice that it is starting to line up just a little bit better. Now I can also alter the text color. The color right now was a color that's up in here by clicking on this T with this colored box and I can choose a color that is set as a default color or I can come into other colors and I have millions of colors I can choose from. So that's really cool if you're trying to uh, match something but for now I'm just going to change it to this dark gray color. and. I also have the option to change the type. I can uh, go in here and pick a font from my computer, which I like this uh, Mirrored Pro a little better than Times Roman. Times Roman's kind of blah. So anyway, there's there's how you do it in Acrobat Reader. Now the downfall to doing it in Reader is that you can't save it. But the upside is, hey, 
you can actually do it. So it's really cool. You don't have to handwrite them if you don't want to. Um, another really cool thing to think about with this is that, you know, if you're doing multiple mini albums where you're having to put the same information on these cards, it would be great. I recently uh, attended a wedding where we used these place cards at the wedding, or we used these little journal cards at the wedding, but we customized them to say the guest's name so that they could actually write a message to the bride, handwrite a message to the bride on the cards, but we were able to type their name at the top so we knew exactly how many we were handing out. So it does give you some flexibility with doing things, um, making things a little more customal, customized. So the way to do this with Acrobat Pro would be, and it's a, it's a, it's pretty much the same thing. It's just a little bit different. So in this case, and uh, I believe that the uh, this this particular method was available in a couple of versions back. So depending on what your version of the full blown version of Acrobat is, as to whether or not you can uh, do this. But anyway or how you do this. So to get to this one you're gonna go, to, it's a little bit different, you're gonna go to tools this time and you're gonna go to content and it's the typewriter that is here on the toolbar. Um, so it's the same process, it's the exact same steps, it's just the icons have changed uh, you know so you're gonna add a text box by using the typewriter tool and it's gonna be right here and as you can see it's the exact same process it has the same toolbar that pops up uh, I believe you could probably still find it under sign as well uh, you can go to nope it looks like it looks like you can't find it under sign so it is actually um, in here in the regular version of, of um, Acrobat it is under the content tab under the tools so it's tools content and then add and edit text box and notice that in the full-blown version of Acrobat you have a typewriter in the reader you just have like this little line with the text so anyway there you go there's two ways of doing it in Acrobat I hope this helps and uh, I will be doing a series of uh, tutorials on hybrid and digital scrapbooking over on the Artsy Attic blog and I'll put a link to that blog down below but it's we are artsy addicts plural uh, dot blogspot.com and again I'll put the link down below and I'll run it across the top of the screen and as always you can find these tutorials on uh, my blog which is psychomomscrapbooks.blogspot.com and if you really like these printables and I'm telling you this mini album is uh, to die for uh, you may want to go over to marionsmithdesigns.com and download these uh, printables thank you